In this video, we will build a Python backend API using ChatGPT and we'll deploy it to AWS using App Runner service. The entire process will consist of three steps. First, we will define what we want to build and ChatGPT will generate the entire application code, unit tests, and the documentation. Then we'll push our code to GitHub. And finally, we'll deploy the app using AWS App Runner. Let's get started. What I did so far is I opened OpenAI ChatGPT and I gave a prompt that I'm a Python backend engineer to write a sentiment analysis application. And it gave me instructions with which packages I need to install. It wrote a script to, for the actual application and how I can deploy it. I will link this in the video description. Then I also asked ChatGPT to write at least one unit test and add a readme documentation for this, for this app. And you can see this is the automatically generated documentation and there is even a test. And I tested this locally and it really works by this. Okay, it executed the test. Now, if I run the application, it's available here. And here we can test this app. The weather today in Berlin is lovely. What a wonderful day. And it gave a sentiment score of nine. Now we can deploy this app, right? The tests are passing. Everything is documented. We can just go ahead and deploy this application. So the way you do that is you create a service. Then you point it to your source code repository. I selected this mm -hmm. AWS Fast API GPT-4, my main branch. Then I set up that anytime I push new changes to this branch, it should deploy a new version of, of my service. Then I configured Python 3 runtime. I also set this command to install requirements and the start command is generated by ChatGPT here. Port 8080, the same as here. Next, you can configure resources as you need environment variables, auto-scaling, health check, permissions that your service needs, observability can be enabled to use AWS X-Ray. Then if we go to next, we can review and create, and then create and deploy. Here we can see how the screen looks like when you deploy this application. If I go here to this default domain, there's encrypted API endpoint for fast API application. We can see the Swagger documentation and we can test this again. This time, maybe something negative. I hate this. I hate how good ChatGPT is. Sentiment score is one. Now let's change it to I love this. So that's, that's how it works. That's how easily you can build a custom application. You start with a prompt to ChatGPT, then you create your GitHub repository, and then you just point your app runner to your repository and deploy your app. So there you have it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.